more. This first one is what I call new shit, which means I have not performed it anywhere before. Y'all are the first ones to hear this out loud. That being said, something tells me y'all are gonna recognize it. So let's see. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and asked the man running the stand, hey, got any grapes? The man replied, no, we have none of those. We just have lemonade. Would you like a glass? The duck said, thanks, but I can't afford that. I've been short on cash since I lost my job last May. And then he waddled away until the very next day. <clears throat> a duck walked up to a lemonade stand and asked the man running the stand, do you have any food that you're willing to part with for free? Anything you're ready to throw away, I'll take it off your hands and then be on my way and it won't go to waste. It just might feed me one more day. <clears throat> the man replied, how am I supposed to feed myself if I work for free? I had to buy these cups, this ice, this lemonade myself and if I don't sell it, then I'll have no place to sleep. I too need to eat. The duck said, I know that all too well. The fate you fear becoming is what I call Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and every day after, week after week. So just wait and see. Once you have to get by on what you can bomb it and steal, will you still have enough pride to cover your eyes anytime someone is struggling to survive on the other side of the blindfold? And then he waddled away until the very next day. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and asked the man running the stand, hey, can you please spare some change? The man replied, it's been a long time since I've seen any change that sat with me right. <clears throat> I'm not talking about coins, but the kind of change I'll never have enough cash to buy. You see, they opened a Starbucks on the corner I've been working the past five years. Now people I don't recognize pass me by on their way to pay a company that won't struggle like me if it misses out on their money. And they look at me nervously. People clutch their purses in fear as if I might just take what I need and stop trying to please a world that seems to not give a shit about me. I had to flee to a different street because the cops threatened to ticket me last week. They said it's a crime to feed my community. The duck said, stranger, you're no different than me. The only place I could go to eat without paying a fee I can't afford for the nutrition I need or without having to listen to a minister preach and tell me my problems will be solved by a God who seems to have given up on me was recently stopped at once by the same cops. And all the volunteers who've kept me alive this whole time are being tried for the crime of lending a hand to someone who's struggling. My existence should not be criminal. And the city has since posted signs that read, Don't feed the birds. So they've made a duck into a rodent and decided which kind of help I deserve and which kind of help will get you fined or ruin your life if you try to assist me on our own terms. Our struggles are intertwined. Two different sides of the same coin flip. Heads, we work very hard just to spend damn near every cent on rent with less than enough left to meet our needs or tails. We have no place to sleep and the city we call home decides our lives are a crime. I think it's time we steal the damn coin together and buy something to eat. The man replied, would you like a glass of lemonade on me?